Hey, what's going on everybody? It's your boy Luis Nito Rivera and I'm actually back with another tutorial. Um, I actually got a comment on the one I did for InShot and a lot of you guys seem to like that, uh, that tutorial that I made for you guys. And the comment that I got, it's from Hoodman Gaming. It says, can you do picture in picture on the InShot app? Now, this question could be addressed in two different ways. I don't know if he's talking about a collage, which you can do in InShot, but then it got me thinking in case he meant something else that I could show you guys how to do that with a different app. So this app that I'm gonna show you guys is called PhotoGrid. So let me get PhotoGrid up for you guys right now. So let me backtrack a little bit. So PhotoGrid is actually a pretty good app. You can use it to make collages, but the thing is, you can also do something pretty cool that you can't do in uh, InShot, which is to put two clips playing simultaneously, or if not, having a picture with a clip. So I'd like have the clip playing while you have the picture just there. So like, say for instance, you want it to read something while something else happens, but just keep in mind that you're only allowed to do uh, 30 second videos unless you paid for the pro version, then I believe it goes all the way up to 180 second videos. So this app is perfect for that. So uh, we're gonna dump, jump into it. So here we are joined on the screen, uh, Photo Grid. It's got like this little icon. It's green, red, yellow, blue. And you can find a Google Play Store and you should be able to find it in the, uh, the iPhone store. I don't know, I don't have an iPhone. But uh, go ahead and click into it. Alrighty, so now we're in Photo Grid. So you should be greeted with this uh, layout here. Um, you have on the upper left hand side, it says uh, grid. Uh, ed you got edit on the right, slideshow on the left, and more tools on the bottom right. Um, so what you're gonna do is go to grid, and you're going to click the two videos that you wanna use. Okay, so now here I have two of the clips selected. Uh, that I want to use, which is an actually an upcoming skit that I was going to put out on uh, Instagram for you guys and also YouTube. Um, so I got these two clips, right? I'm going to hit next. And it, on the top there, it allowed it, it allowed you, excuse me, it allowed you to add uh, the layout of the video. Oh my gosh. <laughs> you hear the, the farting sounds? So let me, let me go ahead and mute that. Um, anyways, so what you want to do here is uh, you're gonna hit layout and depending on the orientation of your videos you might want to swap them around or you know have the layout a little bit differently but I'm gonna choose both of the uh, horizontal videos so I'm not sure if you guys seen uh, those videos where uh, it's like on like if you go on Instagram there's this uh, site called uh, adult like jokes and they have like this little toy that you can control with a cell phone that vibrates so I had the idea of doing a skit where like somebody walks up with a cell phone and then it's just like me going, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like it, it, it's just meant to be funny. But um, so you could take these two clips and have them play simultaneously. You can't do that on, uh, on InShot. So and you can swap them too by pressing and holding the clip and then uh, dragging it up to the top. And then from there, you could take this clip after you rendered it and put it into InShot and add whatever other effects. But they have some basic tools here. You can do uh, like text. So we'll just put, uh, get this dope adult toy. You know what I mean? We're gonna, we're gonna switch that so it says something differently. Throw like a white and we'll change this border to like a black. It doesn't necessarily have to have the shadow because I uh, can't even really see it here. You can turn this down as well. And we're going to... Okay, let's see here. Border looks good. And then you can... So you, you see this slider here. Um, that little blue bar on the right-hand side, if you were to extend it, it's so that the the text can be either dragged out or shrunken down. So let me show you by example. You see what I mean there? So it it, le it lets you like condense it, but like the the arrow on the bottom right actually allows you to scale it. So like what you'd want to do, like say for instance, we want to put it in the middle here. That's what we're gonna do. So we're gonna actually take this and then take that middle blue bar and slide it over. And drag that over just so we can get some more room. So now you're gonna have it like that. 
So the, the, the app functions a little bit differently. So you just have to mess around with it. Just give yourself some time. You just put two clips or a picture in a clip and just kind of like experiment around with it. Okay, so now we got it in the middle and it looks cool. We like it. Um, and you could also change it. They have this option, right? Uh, it says in order. So you can have it where one plays and then the other one plays. So let's see here. What says play all? Okay. So now it, it's kind of weird. It says play all, but the in order is playing. So one is playing on the top. And then you when you hit it, it's playing all of them, both at the same time. So like for this one, I would probably want it to like put the the toy on the bottom. Like, let's see. Put it on the top there, right? And then I would want for comedic effect, I would hit that so that the first one plays, right? And then the bottom one plays after. So keep in mind when you do that and it takes one, it plays one after the other, it's going to actually double the length of the video. So, you know how it was before it was 30 second clips. It makes this one into 60. So it gives the, uh, each clip the 30 seconds that it's allowed. Yep. And then also too, if you want to make the background cool or change its color, you can do that. If you're making this for like IG, You'd probably want to keep it white just so it blends in. It looks like there's two clips there instead of like uh, the border would kind of show that it's like uh, two, like one actual clip instead of two little clips. <clears throat> Which let's see here, and then you could you could do like the the little uh, borders that they have here, make it like pretty or cool, whatever you guys are using your uh, the editing software for. A lot of this is the similar tools that. InShot has so if you guys haven't seen my InShot tutorial, I'd definitely recommend viewing that first and then coming to this afterwards Just because a lot of the the tools that are in that program are also in here, but I can do like a brief overview you have Let's see here. You have layout which switches all the the different orientations the the, the clips that you selected inside of the uh, the preview window itself ratio could switch it for the different video formats for like say for instance uh you're doing it for ig as a post or you're doing the four by five post you know the instagram story they also have a typical three by four uh you actually have youtube videos which i could probably use it for what i'm making now and then they also have facebook and regular posts what have you they have actually a lot of different orientations they even have a facebook story one which is pretty cool Okay, so now going down, you also can put music in it. It pulls up uh, photo grids, uh, different, like, I believe, freemium music. And a lot of it looks like the same stuff from uh, Instagram Story. But then you could also go to, like, hip-hop or instrumental, and then you can click this for, like, your music tracks, which it'll bring up your music tracks. Alrighty. So you have the text, which I showed you guys how to add stickers which work similar fashion to uh, InShot which is where you select one and then you can modify it I see look I want to make myself like an angel right put myself with a halo over my head the only thing is I don't know if it has a timeline feature like InShot does I think you might have to go in where it said uh, where is it it said crop for a second. I don't know if the tools are the same. No, it looks like it just plays it for the entirety of the video. So if they were actually to update this, unless these kind of features are in the pro version to modify them and have them come out at a certain time. But that's why I would recommend that you'd use this to put the two clips together so that they could play simultaneously and then bring it over to InShot and then modify that because it gives you, or it has a lot more freedom with the program so you can modify it. You could throw a watermark if you want to. Of course, I would always delete the watermark that they have for you in the phone and just add a sticker. And then you could just make a PNG uh, picture either on your computer or another app of your choice and then put it in there as a sticker. So let's like, I'll show you real fast. Okay, so let me show you guys now. Um, if you go into, well, I keep accidentally hitting back. If you go into the sticker tab and then you hit the little clip button, it looks like a, a scissors over like a dotted line or dotted circle, excuse me. And I have a couple pre-made uh, stickers here. 
Um, so what you, you would just do is hit the plus button and then you'd go into your camera roll and then select and then it would allow you to uh, cut the dimensions of it out. They give you shapes like circles or diamonds or hearts. But if you make a PNG, you could put it like what how I have my Nito LR here. I'll put it there and, and it pops up on the, the screen here and then I can just put it so I can have it watermarked in case you know you're worried of somebody stealing your stuff and then you could turn the opacity down so that it's not like obnoxious you know but then now if somebody tries to steal your content they're gonna be greeted with the watermark okay and yeah those are all the tools for it and then once you are done and it looks nice and you have it the way or you know you you've put the clips the way you want them you put the your watermark on it, you put your text in, and then you're just gonna hit save. In this part, I would recommend putting it on a charger because the uh, rendering process can take a little bit. You don't wanna do it like when you're on low percent and then lose all your progress. All right, awesome. And now it's saved to your camera roll. So now you can go ahead and access it. So like, now let's say we're gonna go to our IG, right? Boom, IG, press the little plus button. And there you go. The video is right there located on the screen. Awesome, guys. Uh, hopefully this helped you out. I got that question and I made me think of a, like another video idea to make for you guys. So if you have any other questions like that, that is like, hey, this feature or how do you do this said thing? And I can let you know if there's a different app that does that particularly or if there's a way to do that in the apps that I've already showed you. Um, it just sometimes little stuff like that you have to like mess around with it and kind of know the ins and outs of it in order to make a video and have that said effect that you're looking for anyways guys hopefully you enjoyed the video um you know if you like the video like it you, you didn't like it you know what to do um go ahead and share it with your friends and leave me a comment below and hopefully you guys have a wonderful day peace